What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Matthias Fancast. We have a new episode for you and a crazy episode, too. We have a lot of high five news. We have a lot of the I, we have a good amount of theories, I would say. Every week I say this, this this is the most theory packed episode. I think this is a good episode for theories. I think a lot of stuff has been revealed to us or will be revealed soon. We also have, yes, we also have a good amount of overkill videos this week. Large amount, a mega amount. Yeah, mega. But yeah, uh, let's get into some high five news. So starting off with GG uh, on Saturday, the 6th, on February 6th, 2021, GG uploaded a video talking about that GG moved, uh, as you know, back in around November and October. Uh, High Five Independent uh, was starting up, and uh, Orange Base was becoming High Five Independent. So the sets and YouTube channels in there, so GG and Dope or Nope, uh, had to move out. Uh, and GG moved to Upstairs Red Base, or to where New Red Base is, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, you know, we got a little studio tour. Uh, so we got like a whole look at everything we know. They're now going to do some VR stuff. Yeah. They are starting a podcast. Yeah. Paul and Connor. So maybe we'll have them on the show or Ooh. maybe, I don't know. Uh, and then, you know, some VR stuff and a lot of great stuff coming from them. Mm-hmm. A lot of cool stuff, too. So, and also, we sadly got news that Matt and Tanner are officially gone from GG, at least for regular episodes, unless, like, they need two other people. They will bring Matt and Tanner back, but the usual uploads will be just Paul and Connor. But, you know, I, it's what, what do you think about this change? I thought that it was good, you know, the, I'm happy for the clips, um, I'm happy yep. for the, uh, podcast, you know, um, you know, I think overall, pretty good, I'm excited for more content, and, like, more, I don't know, like, they can use VR now, and, like, different stuff. Yeah, they can definitely have more variety now than the, what they had in the old GG set, because, the old GG set was literally one room, but now they have like their own studio, pretty much like a small studio yeah. room. Yeah. So they pretty much had they have way more space, you know, way more stuff to do. I feel like like now they have enough time to do a podcast, videos like, and then they also have the GG clips there, are, and they will also be live streaming on Twitch. So they're doing like so much more stuff than that what they were doing with the four, and I think I like it. I'm it's gonna be way better than it ever has been, mm-hmm. at least content wise. But yeah, crazy, you know what happened. So yeah, let's go on to some more news. Uh, so we have found out. So, uh, Matt Matt has fired Patrick Jones. Mm-hmm. He has also fired CJ, yeah. or I should say, let go. Fire is a very yeah. like your fired word, but like terminated. terminated them, let go. So yeah. now Pat is work uh, working for Rose, editing her vlogs. CJ's just doing his art, and I think you know that's pretty cool. And th- I, that makes me lead that leads me to believe Hannah is also fired because we haven't seen her in a while. Yeah. Uh, and she is starting her own YouTube channel. Yeah. So she could be, or she just maybe isn't. Maybe she's working remotely now. But I, I, I have a strong feeling that she was sadly let go. Yeah. But we do have some new people in, as we saw in the newest Matthias video, or in the Matthias video from this week. Uh, we got to see some new people. Yeah, you know, Bailey, I think is gonna be the camera woman. Yeah, I think, or she may, I yeah, because she was Kevin's assistant. Mm-hmm. But I think 
think she's gonna do camera for overkill. Yeah. I think vlogs too. Yeah, but yeah, maybe some vlog stuff. Maybe like in studio vlog. We got some more people that we don't know their names. So it's almost like Matt, if you guys have seen Iron Man 3 with the clean slate program at the end where he blows up all the suits, that's what it feels like right now almost. Yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's just like a whole new clean slate. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, and I mean, Sam Woods, Tanner, uh, they're all staying, which is good. I think, they- yeah, like Sam, you cannot replace Sam and Woods because they're like main people on yeah. Matthias. Like yeah, if they if he terminates them, that would be the show. Like that would be crazy. No, you would leave the show. I would not end the show. I but the show. but and like there would be a big uproar uproar in the Matthias community. Like if he let Woods go, yeah. all the Wood Sims would be like, oh my gosh, yeah. my poor Woods. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think I was definitely very sad to see, um, you know. Pat and CJ go. Yeah. Um, I think it's for the best, you know. Pat can go pursue his own thing, um, which is great, you know. I'm glad for him. And then CJ can do his own thing too, you know, with the art or whatever he chooses to do. So I yeah. think that's great. I think they left on pretty good terms. Yeah, and I think – but also, you know, I think it leads to new people, you know, new people coming in. And I also think it's kind of good, like – not having the same people in for the whole high five thing. Like it yeah. would just get super boring, like with just yeah. the same people. Mm-hmm. But okay. like, so I just remembered what, so in, uh, I think it was like one of the first episodes of the high five studios fan cast. Yes. Summer, we talked about who we, we would and fire. And we were saying like between CJ and Hannah, and I think they're both, they're both terminated. Yeah, so, like, you know, we told the future pretty much. Yeah. You know, you could say we're pretty smart. We're a pretty big brain. Mm-hmm. But I, I I remember saying that I would fire CJ, so, you know, six months yeah. later, he's gone, sadly. Yeah. So. <laughs> kind of coincidental. Maybe Matt listens. He's like, I'll do that. Yeah, that hopefully, you know, don't fire anybody else. Yeah. yeah. Fire yourself. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Now moving on to the videos. Yeah, so starting off with the Dope Nope, like usual, we had 10 of the tiniest weapons we found on Wish. So this is going back to an older Dope Nope video that they've done. They've done a couple like small weapons on Wish. And what did you think about this, Asher? Um, I really liked it. I think the Wish videos are definitely funny. Um, yeah, I'm glad that they kind of like took it back to old school dope and out. But yeah, I like this video. I really like that. I think Woods is going to be on. Like, he's going to be like, he's not going to be on it. Like he'll be on it probably like 85% of the time. Yeah, but I'm glad. I'm super happy that Woods is on now because I, I just love uh, Tanner, Matt, and Woods yeah. together. It's so funny. Um, but yeah. Uh, I really, really like this video. I thought that this was very, very funny. Um, you know, great moments on it. And yeah, I think, yeah. you know, really solid video. Definitely. Yeah, I really enjoyed it too. I definitely think Woods is going to be main, you know. He's going to be big on it. Like, that's going to be his, like, big channel also with, like, the Matthias. Mm-hmm. Woods is kind of like the new Michael Lantez. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think it was really good. I would, this definitely wasn't my favorite Dope or Nope out of the, th- like, th- this is a, yeah. pr- this is a good one, but definitely I like the Mandalorian one way better because, like, that, yeah. but I would rate I, this, an, I'd rate this a nine. Yeah, I like the, uh, roulette one last week. Yeah. Hey, it got on trending, actually. It got, like, 28. 28. Yeah. Which is still, like, really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, with how many videos are uploaded in, like, every day, like, mm-hmm. that's pretty good. Definitely. But, yeah, I think this was definitely great. Um, I would rate it a 9 out of 10. Nice. Uh, but, yeah, uh, now moving on to the overkill. We got a mega amount of videos this week, and I think we'll be getting way more, like, than just one video a week now. 
because we unlocked a couple new things. So the first one is I spent $350 to make my dreams come true, and it was amazing, or upon that line. So Matt got a lightsaber from a company called Kyber Light. This, I'm getting one of these. I want to get one so bad now. Like, the way it is, and like, they're pretty cheap for a good lightsaber. Yeah. Like, if you want a good lightsaber, like, this is this is pretty cheap for one. Like, a good, high-quality one. So, Asher, what do you think about this overkill video? Um, I thought that this was very, very funny. I absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, it was just so funny, you know, seeing them do it. Um, yeah, I think just really, really good video. Loved lightsabers. Uh, two of the three videos this week were Star Wars themed. So, yeah, yeah, that's kind of fun. But yeah, I really, really like this video. Um, and I would rate it a nine out of ten. Nice. I love this video with like the lightsaber duels. Like, mm -hmm. it was so funny. I would rate this a 9.5 out of 10. This is a great overcoat video. Like, uh, and then the next one is Megadesk is dead. Long live Megadesk 2.0. Oh, we got a whole new Megadesk or part of Megadesk. So, you know, uh, there's a PC company called Origin, and they sent Matt a two PCs in one table for Megadesk. Yeah. It's it's one of the coolest PCs. It's the coolest PC ever, I would say. Yeah, I think one of the first uh, PCs in a desk. Like, no, I, I've seen a good amount, but this is like the first one with like full on like like two. Like you, sometimes like there's components of like there's not two full PCs. Sometimes it's like a full PC with like extra capture cards or extra coolant and stuff like that, but not two full PCs. This is like. One of the first. It's definitely one of the first, definitely. Uh, and, you know, we got to see Paul and Connor back yeah. in this. Like, we got the boys back. Mm -hmm. We got the click crew back. Yeah. We did talk. Hey, I feel like this week was a good week of, uh, you know, back we did a bonus episode in the summer. Mm -hmm. Will the will the click crew get back together? I'm just saying they did. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So, uh, the... First, we yeah. predicted that Matt and Tanner were leaving GG. Boom. They're predicted. Uh, we predicted, you know, the... Uh, Firing. The, we've predicted this. I mean, like, I, I think High Five resolve, revolves... Around us. Around <laughs> yeah, you know what? It resolves around us. Yes, yeah, definitely. Resolves, definitely. Uh, but yeah, this, you know, this was, this is a super cool PC. Like, you know, I, ha I, you know, just got my PC in and I'm like, now looking at my PC, I'm like, wow, my PC is like not as good. Yeah. But there's like eight, he can hold up to, and Matt can hold up to eight cap, uh, he has eight capture cards, so he can have like eight cameras. Yeah, that's absolutely. With my PC, I can only have like one or two. Mm -hmm. So like he <laughs> He can have a lot. Yeah. He could have, he could have like literally cameras everywhere in Megadesk leading to that. Yeah. You know, LEDs in it. Like it's pretty cool desk. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. Just it's pretty it's not pretty cool. cool. It's Mega Desk 2.0. Mega cool. Mega cool. That's a new thing. Mega cool. Yeah. And Tanner was trying to mess around with it. Oh, when Tanner was doing that, that was making me cringe so hard. I'm like, oh my gosh, Tanner's going to break it. No, no, yeah, it brought me, like, PTSD of, like, my siblings messing with stuff, and it's like, stop. Yeah, like, my with my nephew, like, I'm like, I oh, yeah. when he, like, messes with something, I'm like, oh, my gosh, no. Or it's just like, it's like, oh. Uh, yeah. I would rate this a 10 out of 10. You know, we got to see the boys back all together, having fun, which we haven't seen in a while. Like, with GG, yeah. but, like, we ha but we haven't seen them, like, in vlog style in a while together. Yeah, definitely. I think definitely great video. I would also rate it a 10 out of 10. I think this is definitely a really, really good video. Yeah, movie. definitely. Uh, and then the next and final one is Obi, you are the chosen one. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. memes. Uh, yeah. So Matt played a little uh, a Star Wars dual game. You know, he's been gaming a couple times, which I like. I like yeah. the gaming. The gaming's nice. The gaming is mega. Uh, Matt bashed on the sequels. Hashtag respect. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, it's true. Sequels hey, kind of sucky. Is the best. No one can... Tell you. No, but the thing is, the originals are suit are great. The thing is, I grew up with the prequels, like Matt did. Yeah. I grew up, I grew up, I like because the prequels had come out a couple years before I was born, like 1999, 2002, oh, yeah. 2005. I was born in 2006, but as I was growing up, those were like always, those were since those were newer, I would be watching those a lot. Like they were either on TV and like they were newer, so like, oh, like I grew up with them, like that's why I love them so much. Well, yeah, I did too because I'm a year and a no. I'm you're a only year. you're you're six months older than me. Okay, well, don't go. Oh, I'm a whole I'm a whole year older than you. No, you're six yeah. months. Yeah, yeah, but hey, technically, I was born closer to them coming out, so I could say I was okay. No, 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 no. But the thing is, I have not. I don't think I've ever told this on any of our podcasts. But my birthday is on May fourth. National Star Wars Day, and Asher saying that he's a bigger Star Wars than than me. That's some cap. That is some cap. I grew up with the prequels are part of me. Yes. When when was the first time you watched the prequels? Uh, when I was a year old. Yeah, you, you what? Mm. On 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 May on your. You watched it on my birthday. <laughs> on my on the. The first May fourth of my life. Of wow, life. you're you're really making that believable. Yeah. But yeah, this yeah. this was a good like this was probably my least favorite overkill from the week. It was still good though. But it was my it was, it was just it was like funny, but like I wish he's definitely gonna play more of this, but I wish he did more than just like him at, as Qui Gon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. But I, I really like the first one or yeah, the first one the the lightsaber. Or, oh, no, I don't know what. Well, yeah, lightsaber, like, with, like, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. It was definitely really funny. Yeah, but I liked the cyberpunk video that he did last week. I yeah. I think more than this, but... Yeah, really me too. Like Matt, in, like, Matt doing Star Wars gaming. Or yeah. Whatever. That's so funny. Well, I've also, uh, I would like to, so there's a VR game. I don't know, I think it may be, like, a mod of the game, but, like, you can have, like, lightsabers and stuff like that. It's like a VR game I've seen. Like it's super funny because like you can fight Sith and that stuff. But like it it's super cool. I would love to see Matt player. And there's also a couple games too. Matt, if you're listening, if you are, uh, there's a game. Uh, what's it called? It's like a war game where like you have troops and stuff like that. But there's a mod to it yeah. where you can like it's the Galaxy at War mod. So like it's all Star Wars characters. You can like make battles with it. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So Matt, if you're listening, go check it out. Link in the description below. Just kidding. We don't have links for stuff like that because we don't. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So what would you rate this video, Asher? Um, I'd rate it a nine point five out of ten. A nine point five. A nun. I would rate it a zero point five. No, no, no. I meant like like a Catholic nun. Oh yeah, yeah. A nun out of ten. Mm. Yeah. But nine nine point five out of ten. Nine and a half nuts. Man, this is just... <laughs> we probably lost the rating system with this one. <laughs> I'd rate it a... I'd rate it an 8.5 out of 10. Wow. This was the least mega out of the week. Yeah, eight nuns out of 10. Yeah. Eight. <laughs> yeah, uh, so now on to the Matthias from this week. So yeah, uh, starting off, with the trailer, uh, the first trailer of this week is uh, Undercover Officer left us something, you know, pretty good. What would you rate this, Asher? Um, I thought that this was a, a pretty good trailer, and I'd rate it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Nice. I would rate it an 8.5 out of 10, too. Oh, oh, big brain. Boom. Next one. The Undercover Officer left us something. Video, what did you think? I thought that it was okay 
9 out of 10. I'd rate it a 9 out of 10, too. Stop copying me. No, I'm... No, you're copying me. Uh, I thought of it first, though. Okay. Uh, so, the ne- and the next trailer is we found his name, but that's not all we found. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 trailer. One of the best trailers ever. You're copying me. No, I'm not. It's just good. Okay. okay, yeah. So, you know, Asher, what did you think about this week of uploads? So I thought that this week was okay. No, definitely not the best. I feel like last week was better just because we didn't get as many. We did get, like, the trailer. Like, I think the best video was the uh, Friday's trailer and, like, amazing trailer plus, you know, great stuff. But I think that this was a okay week. No, definitely not the best, but not the worst. Nice. I thought, like, I thought the video from this week was pretty good, you know. So, pretty much, they got the e- they got an email from John Doe saying, oh, the package, yeah, I sent you one. But, you had to travel. You had to actually go somewhere to get it. He's like, wow. do it quick. No, no, there, you have to do uh, it through a code. Yeah, and he sent the coordinates through code, and Matt, and then Matt goes, "Yeah, let's go." They go, they look around, they say somebody's here, but it's actually nothing, just for suspense. Then they go into a little mine shaft or bunker place, and bam, there it is with some poop. Yeah, rat poop. Some rat poop. Uh, but yeah, so Asher, you know, we got, we didn't get, like, too much, like, nothing big happened. Yeah, and I feel like that's the biggest thing was that just a lot of hype for the video, but then just, like, nothing really climactic happened. Um, you know, nothing really huge happened, like, they didn't find it, but. Well, I don't, well, I don't think it has to be climactic in every video. Well, like. For example, the red car or whatever. When they the mountaineer. Them. Yeah, like when. Oh, was- not no, not not the mountaineer. I thought you were talking about back then. But yeah, yeah. the like the Subaru or some whatever it yeah, was. Like when they saw that yeah. or whatever, I thought like, oh my gosh, like there, it's it's a it's stalker. Like they're going to get it or whatever. But nothing really happened from that. I mean, it, they could have followed them. It could be John Doe or something like that, just making sure. But I don't. I, don't, I think it was just... It was just nothing, I think. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think it was very not climactic. Yeah. Well, that that's okay. Yeah, definitely. Like, the last video was the... Like, the them finding stuff on the Apple II, which was huge. And then, you know, then this or whatever. But. And I definitely think it kind of shows, like, if, if it was fake... Mm-hmm. Like, they would be doing a climactic thing every single time. Like, something super climactic for it. Yeah, definitely. So more people would watch it and stuff like that. I personally enjoyed this. Like, uh, yeah. Do you have anything else you have to say about this? No, not about this video. Uh, so yeah, on to the, the final trailer. We got a lot of stuff, you know. They o- they So they opened the case. Yeah. They found out... They found, uh... Cyphus's name, they say. Uh, they also found some documents, I'm pretty sure. They found some documents from Syntec. Yeah. And that also leads us to a community post that Matt put out on Friday, this past Friday, the 5th of February, 2021. Uh, so pretty much it was a picture of a document from Syntec with what looks like... Uh, like a test subject, like their name, their full name, date of birth, current address. Have they been to Syntec before? No. Uh, their school name, and then the authorizer information. So the person who like signed it and all that stuff. Blah blah blah. And then uh, acknowledgement and signature. We have D. Uh, so yeah, that's really all we got. We didn't get too much from it because they blurred out like names and stuff like that. So they didn't like release anything like that's not that's sensitive to release, or like they uh that it was already crossed out. 
I don't. Th- it definitely could have been already crossed out, but it didn't look like it was crossed out. Oh mm-hmm. uh, no! Actually, no. I think it, now that I'm looking at it, it looks like it was crossed out. Yeah, so like because there's like a little smudge, mm-hmm. or there just was nothing there before. Maybe I don't know, but I think yeah, uh, I think this was, you know, this trailer definitely huge. Like that they got to open the case, and then like what Woods was saying, like this, like this was the uh, that probably the like most that they got out, or like. I don't know, they're starting to actually find out what everything is. Um, and yeah. this, like, they started to find out, like, with this stuff, was on the 1,000th day of the key series. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, definitely a uh, pretty good coincidence. But, yeah, I think this is definitely a, like, really, really good trailer. I'm super excited for Monday's video. Definitely, I think it's it's gonna be a good one. Like a lot of there, so we know like they're gonna find a lot of documents about what has happened mm-hmm. with this. Uh, you know, we will know Cyphus's name at least. They know Cyphus's name. We they may not release it yet, mm-hmm. just to keep it like private for now, so they don't like blow anything or anything like that. Uh, and also. They are probably, they may not say it in this video, but they're probably are going to go to the police with all this stuff. Like, it makes sense, too. Yeah. Because, like, if it, if it is incriminating, then I think they're going to actually take it more seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Ashley, you have anything else you have to say? Any more theories or stuff like that for this week? I think that we have been pretty spot on with yeah. all of this, with like even going like D or whatever we know was a test subject. We said that, and I think either last episode or before, we said that D was a test subject. You mean a doctor? Is different or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we got that right. We got like this syntech kind of like doing labs. Yeah, it's a lab, you know, they have patients and all that stuff. And that, you know, we finally found out some doctors from the past few days. Like, D was a doctor. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nelson, maybe Nelson Syphus. Mm-hmm. So, I think we were talking about last week, Mariel Syphus. Meryl Syphus. Um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, last week, uh, we found that out. And I think that Meryl Syphus is uh, is related to Nelson in some way, like either, you know, yeah. brothers or it's... Because in the trailer, it said, oh, Nelson Syphus. So either Meryl is a nickname for Syphus or Nelson is a nickname for Meryl or it's, a, or it's just like a name that they chose for him that's not like... Related, but it's like a code name almost. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, I think definitely um, we're getting it pretty spot on. Um, yeah. And I think with the help of John Doe, because now they have John Doe on their side pretty yeah. much. Um, and well, so the thing is, John Doe could be a like bad guy. Or whatever it could be like trying to send them stuff just so that they trust him so no or yeah go ahead go ahead yeah so like that they trust don john doe so that when he sends them somewhere and like he's actually a bad guy or whatever he's like the stalker so when he sends them somewhere they trust him they go there and you know something bad happens yeah like he breaks in or something or what i'm thinking could be it if he was bad like so I think maybe he is sending them things to uncover stuff that he doesn't know yet. So like he has the information, they he sends it to like Matt and all that stuff. He sends them that they figure that out, and now he knows without having to do any work. Um, like he's he's basically using them to get what he wants. Yeah. So kind of like if there was something like say that say like there's a thing like a case that he has but he doesn't want to open it because there could be something like bad or whatever it could be like a bomb or something he sends it to them so that oh maybe i was i was thinking like 
he sent he like he sent him uh uh like he sent he sent him there like they take it because he has he has the stuff he just doesn't know how to figure it out so like what the documents are inside like he maybe he didn't know where the apple two was so he led them he had like had them do the work and now he knows where the apple two is yeah but i think the the chip d yeah the chip is different than john Doe. yes i now think so with the apple two and all that stuff so i wonder maybe d because now we know d was a doctor or at least maybe they're not the same person. They're just using the same name as. No, no, no. he was a test subject, like a uh, patient. No, he wasn't. You think he was a doctor? I think. Well, he was a doctor because he was talking with the other doctors on the Apple II with the conversation board. Yeah. yeah. So, well, he could have been a patient too. They could have done. Well, yeah, but like, he, but from what we know now, he was a doctor at the lab. Yeah, but I think, I don't know, there could be something with, like, say, uh, they, he said that, like, oh, no, more tough subjects. They said, like, oh, go. And then they him. used him. And then they, because, like, they didn't want him going somewhere. Well, I think they probably would have killed him then. Yeah, yeah, but I think, well, I think they did test on him. Yeah, but if the tests were killing people, they did the tests on him, he would probably be dead. So, yeah, I don't know. But I think... Uh, that that's, It's a very slim chance of him being a test subject. Because he is a doctor. That's what we know now. Or was a doctor for this. So, I, I so yeah. Anything else you have to say, Asher, about any of this? Uh, no. Okay. Well, that is all that we have for this episode of the Matthias Fancast. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. We will be having some changes within the next couple weeks. We'll announce the changes next week's and next week's episode. And, you know, we'll have a little new setup for episodes and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. Hope you all enjoyed this. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram at the, at the Matthias Fancast. Or click the link down in the description below. Go check out our other podcasts. High five. Good night.